All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, or Kakadash. I want to say double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the Shah. I can just push forward in the truth about the four corners of the earth. I want to say Shalom to your brothers and keep pushing. Uh, GMS Lines of St. Louis, come back out here. Again, the prophets of the downfall of America, aka Babylon the Great. Got to do a solo camp for the, uh, my uh, work schedule. So we're going to uh, bring out the truth today. Hey, because it's a lot of things that's, uh, it's a lot of things that's, that's going on in the world at this particular time. We're in the year 2020, year of uh, prophecy. Hey, and the uh, prophecies are literally jumping off the pages. All right? You have to be just plain blind by the most high. To not know that we living in the last days and Yahweh Shah's return is near. Alright? So I'd like to start off with this scripture right here. This is 2nd Edges 9. The 2nd Edges 9 and 1, and it reads, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the sign past, which I have told thee before. Then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right, and who is this uh, talking? This is uh, Ezra, you know, when he was uh, talking to uh, the angel Gabriel, all right? So like the, the uh, signs of the times pass, you know? And that's what the men of the Lord is doing. We, we measuring the times because, hey, we in evil times right now. The scripture says, uh, perilous times shall come. And that's what we in. We in real perilous times. It says, verse 3, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thy world understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like, as all that is made in the world had the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest, right? So the end is manifest. You see, hey, it's it, hey, it's clear as day that uh that uh we in the last days. See, it's clear as day. Hey, it's, it's evident. It's not something that's far fetched. You know, because er everybody know that uh, something is going on in the world. You know, like this uh this fishy. They pushing this uh vac vax. All right, I almost said vax. All right, and uh, it's about to be made mandatory sooner than later. All right. Matter of fact, the next few weeks, <laughs> the next matter of fact week, because today is the third, and so yeah, so there's only like a week and a day. That's eight days away, you know, that is going to be here in uh, America, aka Babylon the Great. All right. So hey, hey brothers, got to uh, prepare their mind. For the thing that's about to uh, take place in this wicked society, all right? Hey, it's not the time. Hey, I'm finna go back to school. I'm finna get a degree. Yeah, I'm finna do this. I'm finna do that. Nah, we not in time for that. All right. Hey, the end is manifest. How like the scriptures is saying. You know. Um, I'm gonna get this quick precept. Then I'm gonna hop back. So this is uh, Second Peter. Second Peter three and eleven, and it reads: It says, "Seeing these, like you, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Most High?" Where in the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right. It says, so the scripture says, uh, what manner of persons ought you to be? Right? So uh, the type of person that you should be, you, you should be diligent. All right? You should be circumspect. See? Because hey, we're living in some evil times. So we got to make sure that we keep our eyes peeled, so to speak. Because hey, the devil... 
uh, he saw the so-called white man. Hey, he's about to get ready and uh, come down with, with great wrath. You know, like the scriptures say, Revelation 12 and 12. Why? Because he know that he had for a short time. You know? Let's go back to second edges. Back in second edges, nine. And um, six, it says, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby he have believed, right? Cause you're gonna be uh, escaped by our works, all right? Not like uh, these so-called Christians, they, they like, uh, quote the scripture not by works shall any man boast and with that scripture is, is true that's in there but at the same time you still have to have works you know because the scripture also say faith without works is dead so, hey, so right now I stand on the streets uh, teaching this is an act of faith you know this is an act of faith and works because you have to believe and then if you believe in your mind then you'll get up and do something all right says verse 8 it says uh, shall be preserved from the said pearls and shall see my salvation in my land within my borders so I have sanctified them I have sanctified them for me from the beginning then shall they be in pitiful case which not have abused my ways and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment Right, and that's talking about you so-called Christians that's not being circumspect in these last days. That's talking about the, the laws of the Most High is uh, done away with. And you can basically just do anything you want. Uh, just believe in Jesus. Nah, that, that, that's not so. Because the Most High got uh, laws, statutes, and commandments and guidelines uh, that you as an Israelite man, how you supposed to conduct yourself while you're on earth? You know, you, you can't just do whatever the hell you want to do. It don't work like that, you know? It says, verse 10, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, means hate it, means loathe something, means hate something, while they had yet liberty, when as yet the place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it, right? So, hey, you people, you despise the Lord, and his uh, laws, all right? You, you, you think that the laws of the Most High is uh, grievous, you know? But, but the laws of the Most High ain't grievous, you see? The laws of the Most High brings life, you know? I, I so the Lord gonna, gonna get you two thirds of you so-called niggers, Latinos, and Native Americans, you, you Israelites. Why? Because you don't want to repent and Hey, the Lord said it still got us out here uh, teaching. Hey, but uh, hey, hey, we know that hey, through the uh, scriptures that y'all not gonna repent. Why? Because it's, it's not given unto y'all. Because, you know, y'all wasn't blessed with that faith that, that the men of the Lord have. It's Romans 13 and 11 and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed right it says our salvation is nearer than when we believed you know and I, and our salvation is uh, very near it's not that much longer that we're gonna be out here on the uh, on the uh, streets, all right? It's not that much longer because the Lord can just shut this stuff down just like that, you know. And then uh, and then we we'll be out of here, you know.
second edge is 13, one. And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the ways thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. All right, how you doing? And that was uh, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. All right? Hey, because uh, the Lord going to come back with a whole army of uh, angels. All right? It says, uh, And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, they all burned and heard his voice, like as the earth filled when it uh, filled the fire. And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of the number, right? Hey, because when the Lord come back, you know, he gonna say the elect. And you know, like not only like like uh like when like when he come back, you know, he gonna be zapping you people with the uh uh, chariot fire all right i like to show you in that movie uh independence day it says uh so yeah it says uh, i'm reading i'm reading verse five again it says and after this i beheld and lo there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea, right? But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself with a great mountain and flew upon it, right? So the um, so the chariot that, that the Lord is gonna come back in, you know, a, a so-called UFO, uh, it's gonna look like a um, a mountain, you know, because it's gonna uh, cover the sky, you know. It says, but I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven and I could not right so hey he he couldn't even he couldn't even see the uh the the end of the UFO you know like a big ass mountain in the sky excuse my language it says and after this I beheld and lo all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid and yes thirst fight right so hey even though the, that you Edomites you know, you're gonna be scared to fight the Lord. Hey, why, hey, you still gonna fight? Because the Lord is putting that in your spirit to, to fight. See? Look. It's like you, like you. Hey, hey, it's hard being a, uh, having anemia teaching in the cold. Hey, hey, that's why we need new, new bodies because hey, my hands are already hurt. It's only been like 10 minutes. Right. It says, um, verse nine, and lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword or any instrument of war, but only I saw that he sent out out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire out of his lips a flaming breath, out of his tongue he cast out spark and tempest, right? So, uh, I like it uh, show in that movie Independence Day, we had that uh, Edomite girl that was on top of the building, it was all like, ooh, pretty lights, and then it opened and, and then it blasted her. You know, like the whole building got blasted and people are right, started running and hiding, you know? That, that's how it's gonna be like when the Lord comes. You know, he's just gonna straight start blasting you people. It says, uh, it says, and they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and a great tempest and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burned them up every one so that upon a sudden and a normal multitude nothing was to be perceived but only dust a smell of smoke 
when I saw this, I was afraid, right? I just, uh, I it was, I just, just nothing but smoke, just straight ashes, you know? Um, I still gotta watch the movie with uh, Tom Cruise, uh, War of the Worlds, all right? War of the Worlds, I, I'm gonna have to watch that movie. I heard that's a good movie, you know? When I saw this, I was afraid, right? So hey, when Ezra saw the Lord coming back, Scripture says, hey, he was afraid. You know, he was afraid of uh, what he was seeing. You know, because he was seeing basically America getting attacked by who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah. Says. Said, afterward I saw the same man come down from the mountain and call unto him another peaceable multitude and there came much people unto him whereof some were glad some were sorry some of them were brown some uh, some of them brought of them that were offered then was I sick through great fear and I awakened and said Thou hast showed thy servant these wonders from the beginning, and thou hast counted me worthy that thou shouldest receive my prayer. Right? And uh, that's when you go into the interpretation of the dream, but we already know what it is. All right? Yeah, so that's uh, him uh, seeing the Lord coming in his uh, glory and his uh, majesty. All right? Hey, it's just going to be uh, a beautiful thing to see uh, Yahweh Shah. Uh, coming, all right. Because hey, the men of the Lord, I, I, we already know that he uh, coming. Hey, it's evident. Yeah. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, but now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Right, our salvation is nearer than when we believed. All right, you know. Hey, y'all know we in the uh, last days, brothers. Y'all know we in the last days. <laughs> Fucking niggas. So yeah, um, I, I, that's why these niggas gonna die, all right? Because they don't believe in the Lord. You know, I asked them a simple question. You know, niggas just flat out, niggas just flat out ignore me. Hey, but it's all right. Because uh, that's why I was saying earlier that, that two thirds of you niggas are Latinos and Native Americans. Hey, that's why y'all gotta die. Because uh, like here it is, you, you got a man holding the Bible that's already teaching. And you ain't even inquiring of what of what he say, because hey, I bet you if I was to ask ask him, hey bro, do you believe do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? He'd be like, you're over even the Bible, but nigga won't even stop and ask a question, you know? Because really they don't they don't care. That's why uh, Isaiah said, hey, these people draw near unto me uh, with their mouth, but their heart is far from me. I'm gonna get there. I'm trying to make a dollar, man. Yeah, bro, I feel you. They're talking to yourself. Says, uh, this is uh, St. Matthew 15 and 7. It says, Ye hypocrites, 
Well, did Isaiah prophesy to you saying, this people draw nigh to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, right? It says their heart is far from uh, the Lord because uh, they feel like hey, it's something else better to do, you know, because hey, this is true. Hey, this is our everything. You know, hey, we put, it's over women, our jobs, uh, our families, you know, Yahweh Shem Shah comes first. That's why the scripture says, uh, seek ye the kingdom and everything will be added unto you. Get that. It's Matthew 6. All right. It says, uh, Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness. Now all these things shall be get at shall be added unto you. Right? Take their for no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Right. So it, it says uh, you got to seek the kingdom of the Most High first, because uh, that's your main duty as an Israelite man is to seek the kingdom of the Most High. You know, everything else uh, comes uh, second. All right. Luke 14 says and uh, 26 it says if any man come unto me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters yea, in his own life also he could not be my disciple right and I don't mean necessarily mean that you uh, hate them. That just means that you put the Lord first uh, before uh, everything else. Because uh, the truth is our main priority. All right? This comes before uh, any and everything. See what I'm saying? Zechariah 13. Zechariah 13 and 8. And this shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, two parts therein shall uh, be cut off and die, and a third shall be left therein. Right? It says uh, two parts of what? Uh, so called black, Spanish, Native Americans, the Israelites, according to the Bible. It says that y'all gonna be cut off. Uh, Verse 9, and now we'll bring the third part through the fire, and we'll find them as silver is refined, and we'll try them as gold is tried. They shall call in my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord is my God. All right, they shall say, The Lord is my God. All right, because the Lord uh, woke us up to this truth. And, hey, so now we are uh, calling on Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Now we. Um, uh, doing what we uh, su supposed to do as uh, men of the Lord, because like we we know what pleases the Lord. When we was in the world, we didn't know what pleased the Lord. All right, we was uh, committing adultery, eating pork, uh, God knows what, rolling blunts. All right, hey, right, but the Lord brought us up out of that. You know, He uh, He uh, washed us clean. You know, so we can be uh, blameless uh, before the Father. All right. Uh, Romans 12 and 1 it says I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of the Most High 
as you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. All right, so hey, uh, I'm, I'm coming out here and uh, teaching and presenting my body, you know, as a uh, sacrifice. You know, because the Lord said, hey, hey, it's, hey, it's your reasonable service to present your body as a uh, living sacrifice uh, unto the Most High, all right? says uh verse two and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the most high right it says be not conformed to this world you know because uh you know we live in a world but we not of the world the scripture says if you were of the world the world would love its own you know, because, hey, we don't do the same thing that these regular people do. We don't celebrate these holidays. Hey, uh, what, what holiday just passed? Thanks. They call it Thanksgiving, but really it's thanks stealing. Thanks killing. All right? Uh, that's the uh, slaughter of our brothers, the so-called Native and Seminole Indians. All right? So, uh, so, Khan, yeah, so that's what, so that's why we are, uh, teaching to uh, let you so-called niggas and Native Americans know uh, hey, what time it is, you know, and I just read it earlier, it's a time to wake out of sleep, why well, salvation is nearer than when we believe, you know, <laughs> Jake running out to the bus. Romans 8 and 18. For I, I reckon that the sufferers of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Right? So the sufferers of this present time. You know, our brothers going through all different types of suffering. You know, brothers uh, suffering in their body, like, like myself. You know, it's like a prison within a prison. All right? Hey, your own body is a damn prison. And, um, and the outside world around you is a prison. You know that that's why the scripture said we all gotta be changed in the twinkling of, of, of an eye. You know? And if the and if those days shall not be shortened, then then shall no flesh be saved. Alright? God, so yeah, that's what we looking for. You know, we looking for uh, what's up, brother? Looking for uh, a, a new heaven and a new earth, where in dwelleth righteousness. Hey, cause this uh, this this current society hey, hey, is wicked. Hey, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, huh? Yeah, hey, this society super wicked. You know, uh, cause uh, hey, it, hey, in the Bible. It's prophesied that um, that uh, you ever heard of the virgin daughter of Babylon in the Bible? Babylon? Well, I don't know too much about the Bible, but I know love. Okay, well, in the book of Revelation, it, it talk about the virgin daughter of Babylon being destroyed. And that's America, according to the Bible. You know, because, hey, this place is wicked. Like, when you go through this this uh, city, what you see? You see homosexuals. See uh, out of order women showing different parts of their body. Uh -huh. You know, you see uh, these cops harassing our people. Yeah. All right, uh, push uh, uh, pedophilia. Uh -huh. All right, all all these things that's uh, that's adverse against the ways of the Lord. Uh -huh. The name of the Lord is Yahweh. The name of His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shah. Uh -huh. All right, it's not God and Jesus or Jehovah and Jesus. All right, it's, it's Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shah. Now, that's how you say the name in uh, Hebrew, and like that's how we all gonna be be saved is through uh, our faith and, and our power. Because according to the scripture, that they both men of color, mm -hmm. you know, they they so called black men, okay. all right? They they made us in uh, in uh, 
their image. You know what I mean? So yeah, you an Israelite. Uh, yeah, you gotta repent because uh, hey, it's a uh, pure hell that's finna come to uh, these streets of America because they finna push this vax. And who are the people that they aiming after? They aiming after us, right? And and you know damn well. Uh, during the time of, uh, you ever heard of the uh, Tuskegee experiment? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like they was giving they was giving our people syphilis uh, and like seeing like like what it do. Now, now, like now, all of a sudden, these uh these so called white people are our friends and they trying to help us, uh, you know, because they, they saying yeah you you blacks you know you you should get it first now, nah. yeah. like uh the uh, the vax that that's gonna come in the form of the needle and then to to trace you. To see if you actually got it, they gonna enforce the RFID, a RFID chip with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. The, hey, this COVID nineteen thing. Yeah. Hey, and that's the mark of the beast. Yeah. Hey, and if you take that, then uh, uh the Lord, the Lord gonna burn you with fire. Uh -huh. All right. You can't repent from that. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, I got. I had a couple minutes. I just wanted to see, but I, I gotta go to work. All right. No problem, bro. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you got a bit you got a car or you got something? I ain't got a car. Just bro. Out here hey, up. but uh come back. Uh the brothers is uh, be out here this Sunday. Uh -huh, this Sunday. This Sunday and I'll be out here Wednesday. Y'all go to same church? Yeah. Like we uh we, we, we teach out here. Oh street like, in the right. same spot. Alright. Yeah, here. Around five o'clock Sunday. Okay. And uh I just came here today, but I I'll be here Wednesdays. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta go to work this morning. Alright, brother. Alright, have a good Take one, brother. Care, brother. Yeah, hey. hey, our people gonna wake up, you know? Our, our people gonna wake up. People gotta wake up, you know? So, uh, Khan. Hey, so yeah, hey, the Lord coming back to uh, redeem us from out of this, uh, from out of this hell. You no, know? no, brother. Like that's what's, uh, that's what's bound to happen. Uh, Revelation 13 and 15 says, matter of fact, I'm just start at 16, get, get to the point. <coughs> and he calls all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right. And the word there for mark is uh, Karagma means an incision in the skin right it says and that no man might buy or sell say if he'd have had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name right so you ain't gonna be able to buy or sell without that uh without that chip all right hey, hey it's not an embargo it's an actual physical chip that they're gonna insert in your skin you know hey but only the men of the lord go, gonna get it because hey, the Lord put it in our minds to get it. All right? Just like it just for a second. Gotta get my scarf, it's getting cold. Too, don't want to make it too tight. There's, uh, Re Revelation 14. And uh, 8. There follow another angel saying, Babylon is falling, is falling. That great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath for fornication. 
Right. And the third angel fathered him, saying with a loud voice, If any man works his beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, right? See the mark, hand or in your forehead. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of, of the Lamb. Right. Hey, so the Lord going to burn you with fire. All right. If you uh, take that chip, hey, you done. You know, it ain't going to be no repentance for that. You know, that's just going to be straight up uh, hell for you. Is uh, it's 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. It reads, But of the times and season, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that, that the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. When they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Right. So it says, uh, Sudden destruction gonna, uh, gonna come upon uh, these people. You know, because right now they, they trying to hype up the vax. Ah, oh, you know, you should take it. It's uh, it's safe. It's 95% effective. And, uh, hey, but, hey, but, hey, but meanwhile, hey, the structure is being prepared for you uh, so-called niggas, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's like, Says, uh, but ye brethren are not in darkness that the day should not overtake you as a thief ye are all the children of light and the children of the day we are not of the night nor of the darkness alright so hey, hey we children of the day alright hey cause we the Lord brought us into the light alright but well, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up so with that I'm gonna give all praise honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Yahweh Kadash. Once you double honest to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, rule well. Peace and blessings from Yahshua and a Bible ball.